OK, we're going to look at ordering fractions this morning. So when we're ordering fractions, we're putting them in order, sometimes from smallest to biggest and sometimes from biggest to smallest. So if we're starting with the smallest, we call that ascending order. And if we're starting with the biggest, we call that descending. So what we need to do, first of all, before we can put anything into order, is we need to make sure all the denominators are the same, the same as when we're adding and subtracting fractions. So what we need to do is find our common denominator. So we look at the denominators in all of the fractions that we have and we write out the times table for each of those denominators. So we're going to be writing out the two times table. OK, I've written a few of those out and then we're going to be writing out the five times table. Okay, and the fours. And then finally the tens. So as we do normally, write the first few out and then we're looking to see what is the common number in each of those times tables. Well, we can see in these four times tables, the common denominator is going to be the number 20. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to write out each of our fractions that we started with, but with 20 as our denominator. And then we're going to look to try and find some equivalent fractions. So for those of you that can remember with equivalent fractions, we remember our little rule, what we do to the bottom, we do to the top. So if we look at the first fraction here, we've got 2 and we've gone to 20. So what do I do to 2 to get to 20? I multiply it by 10. So if I've multiplied the bottom by 10, I have to multiply the top by 10. So 1 half is equal to 10 over 20. Let's do the same with 3 fifths. What do I do to 5 to get to 20? I multiply it by 4. And if I've multiplied the bottom by 4, I have to multiply the top by 4. So 3 times 4 is 12. And for 4, what do I do to 4 to get to 20? I multiply it by 5, so therefore I multiply my numerator by 5, which is going to give me 15. And then finally, what do I do to 10 to get to 20? I multiply it by 2, and then if I multiply the numerator by 2, I get 14. So now I can see I've got 10 over 20, 12 over 20, 15 over 20, and 14 over 20. So if I'm going to put those in ascending order from smallest to largest, I can see that 10 over 20 or a half is the smallest, okay? I can see that the next largest is going to be 12 over 20 or 3 fifths, okay? And then I can see the next largest is going to be 14 over 20, which is the same as 7 over 10. OK, and finally that, that leaves 15 over 20, OK, which is the same as three quarters. And there we go. So I've now ordered my four fractions. There we go.